Hey there, Yogi. Recently, the team and I were talking about what if you can't get to the mat? What are three poses that you can do to make sure that you're getting your practice in, that you're showing up, that you know that you checked that box you got onto the mat that day? Well, here is your first in a series of classes that we'll do super mini classes where you have three shapes that we'll do for a handful of breaths so that you can say you got on your mat, you did your practice that day, and you're ready to come back and do it again tomorrow. So today's class, we're going to start in downward dog, then we're going to move to uh, low cobra, and then we're going to come to a standing balance. And that's it. When you're ready, I'll see you in downward dog. So in your downward dog, dear yogi, you are pressing hands and feet into the ground. And then depending on how your body is showing up today, maybe your feet are coming out nice and wide. Maybe you're bending your knees and then sending your hips back. When we're in downward dog, what we're looking for is a straight back. So nice long spine. So pressing all 10 fingers into the earth, lifting the tailbone up. And if that means coming up onto tippy toes, if that means taking the feet wider, then that's all great. If that means bending the knees, then we do that because what we want is that long, long spine. And so once we get there, once we have the hands pressed into the ground and the feet pressing into the ground, let's just take five breaths. Staying strong in the whole body. Last breath in, you got it. Perfect, let's bring feet together and we're gonna shift forward. You can drop your knees and we'll slow lower down to the ground. And now we're coming into our low cobra. So on any given day, that might look more like a sphinx pose. Right, so pressing forearms into the earth, letting the legs get nice and long, and just opening up through the body. And if we're coming into low cobra, then hands are alongside the heart, and we're pressing palms lightly into the ground and using the press of uh, the anchoring of the tops of the feet, the press of the hips, and the strength of the back body. Yeah, to open up through the front of the body. Let's breathe here. See if you can reach your heart a little farther forward. Maybe lift your gaze up a bit and then draw your shoulders back, squeezing the shoulders together, drawing the elbows back nice and long. Here we have three more breaths. Last breath in. And then exhale to release. Ah, you know, coming up through tabletop, we'll come right to standing. And in your standing pose, we're going to come into a tree pose. Now, if you have a chair nearby and you'd like to use it, then I highly recommend you grab that chair and you can bring your hand onto the chair. So if you have your chair handy, hand comes onto the chair, you're going to plant feet onto the earth, bring one foot up, and that can be just lifting the heel off the ground. Let me see if I can turn to the side so you can see that. That could be uh, bringing your foot to your shin, right? Um, or maybe sliding it up to the thigh. So we're going to be here with our hands on our hips for a handful of breaths. Now, if you'd like, you can bring uh, one arm out, maybe both, in, the, in more of a W shape, which is something I've been loving lately. Um, you can also do your goalpost arms or reaching hands up overhead, maybe bringing hands together behind the head. Um, I'm personally really loving hands on my hips right now. It's nice to anchor the body down into the earth, to press into the earth, and then feel the lift of the body up and out of the foot. And again, if you have your chair here, you're using your chair hand on the chair uh, to hold and support you, um, and or the wall, or anything else that's nearby. Right? We use props not just because they... Um, help to prop us up, but also because they help to allow the body and the muscles to build uh, the ability to stay in a shape a little bit longer, right? To, to build strength. And then eventually, maybe you don't need the props anymore, or maybe you always use them and it just gives you that extra strength and stability to continue to be there. Let's take one more breath in the shape and then let it go, shake it out, shake out your legs. 
You can do a couple twirls with your hips. And then when you're ready, we'll come to the other side. So pressing into the opposite foot, bringing again, maybe a heel off the ground, maybe foot to shin, maybe foot to thigh. If I'm gonna linger in a shape for a while, I usually choose foot to thigh. Um, if you can believe it, sometimes it's easier uh, for some of us to balance that way than it is to do the shin. So if you're struggling with the shin one, that's okay, it's hard. And in some ways, sometimes a little harder. <laughs> So you're gonna land here and we can breathe here. And again, you make your shape with your arms, whatever you'd like to do. You're grabbing the chair uh, or the wall uh, and you're using the supports available to you because, you know, don't we all need just a little bit more support? And we're breathing. Let's take two more breaths here. And there you go. That's it. You can shake out your legs, roll your hips a bit. And oh my yogi, if you have time, um, take a moment to come down onto your mat. I'll come with you. We're going to sit in a seated position. We're not even going all the way to the earth. Just sit in a seated position. Bring your hands onto your knees and just take a moment to land here. Feeling the full gratitude for this short mini practice that we did together today. Feeling the gratitude and the ease of being able to show up, even when it feels hard, even when it feels a little impossible. Knowing that you made it possible today. You made it possible today. And if you did it today, then you can do it tomorrow. And then you can do it the next day. Know that each time that you show up, however short, and gave yourself something, and gave yourself a gift of movement and breath and patience, persistence, and practice. Be well, dear yogi. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.